Hey everybody, this is Jody with Shoepoxy from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, everybody has really liked my post that I put on there at least about a week ago, at least maybe two weeks. I've been so busy, I apologize. I am going to show you kind of roundabout way that I made it, but let me... Um, first off, I want to give credit to Ileana with Savita, I believe is what you say. Um, she does the cellophane wrap underneath of the paint and underneath of the epoxy. So kudos to her. She's the one who taught me how to do this, number one. Um, and she's really informative. Um, she's a sweet person. She's in Chicago. So anyway, I got this idea from her. And I kind of just ran with it, and everybody loved it. So I want to give her credit first off, because um, I really enjoyed talking to her. She's an awesome person. So first off, let me go through the products that we use. Number one, um, this is just a big sample board, and um, from Home Depot you can get it. And then we sanded it down and kind of made a little rough edge. I did use Bayer White with a primer in it as my prime coat. Um, first off, as my base coat. Then I sprayed the uh, metallic turquoise. Um, on the um, edges and down the center where I put the cellophane and then I did a white on the edges and then I just sprayed it recently over the edges of the cellophane and you can see it a little bit um, but as we pour the epoxy and we put the other paint on top that will go away so just remember if you're doing this play with it no judgment you learn as we go we learn by our mistakes and sometimes our mistakes are some of the best work we can come up with so just learn from that. Um, don't be so hard on yourself because I'm very hard on myself on these things. So just enjoy what you do. Um, it's really fun and this stuff is really fun. I have so many colors I'm going to start doing. So my next one's going to be copper. I have some gold foil that I did on a sample which is up there. You really can't see it from here but it is fantastic. Um, that's the last one I did if you guys remember. Um, and as it, I, I tipped it so it would run and look like an ocean. And so if you guys can see it, it's really beautiful. But that one actually has gold foil under it. My husband's trying to get a shot of it. But it has gold foil under it. It's pretty, it's pretty fantastic too. So um, so anyway, so we're going to go through. So we once we, um, we spray the adhesive on there, we use the uh, 3M Super 77. Sprayed it um, on top of the turquoise paint. And then we use the cellophane blue. Um, I have all kinds of cellophane, but this is really pretty with the turquoise. That was, um, Ileana actually told me the blue is uh, actually really pretty, so that's what I used. Um, as we go, I did mix my stone coat. Um, of course, stone coat's my favorite. And um, I used stone coat countertop um, A and B, and we mixed that. And then I did use, I kind of mixed up a little companies a little bit. I used diamond coat with the silver, the metallic silver, and then we did hocus pocus. Um, and so I don't know if you guys can see the details on the packs of who it is. So as we go, I'll try to show you guys what the brand names are, what the colors are, so you guys can continue to do what you want. But just remember, it might not turn out exactly how it is. We all know epoxy has a mind of its own as it runs, um, and so do these chemicals as they mix together. So you can never, I think, replicate what you do. Um, that's the coolest thing about epoxy is that you cannot replicate it. Um, and so on here... Oh, my husband is sorry. He wants to see all three paints. Um, and so these are the paints that we're using for the whole project. Um, and so as I go, I keep saying, I'm so sorry. But as we keep going, you guys will see what I'm doing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the epoxy, which has the metallic in it, and the Hocus Pocus. It's got the silver metallic and the Hocus Pocus already poured in it. And so we're just going to pour right on top of the cellophane. So you'll see it. If the air can go right over it, my husband... You can see the hocus pocus coming out. It is beautiful. So anyway, so I'm gonna let that run. Let me get my little stir stick here and scrape out that so I don't waste any of it. We all love this epoxy and don't wanna waste it. So I'm just gonna scrape on the bottom, make sure everything is out. Don't wanna waste it at all. And the big thing is sometimes you can lay, you know, let people lay down these buckets and they let them drain out. That's great. I hate doing that actually. I don't. I don't do that unless it's just a clear coat because I would hate to pull up the paint color underneath of it. And so that's what I don't like to do. So um, here we go. I have to remove that uh, salt in so it doesn't get any epoxy on it. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go. And just remember, I cannot stress this enough to you guys. 
if it doesn't turn out the way that mine turns out, if it doesn't turn out the way anybody else is turning out, who cares? It's your masterpiece, right? And sometimes the biggest mistakes are the best things that come out, right? All right, so we're gonna leave that there. We got that going. All right, so first off, I'm gonna take my trowel. I use this a lot, you can see. I'm gonna um, take it and we're gonna just smooth this around. I try to push it to the edges. If Eric can get really close and see that cellophane underneath of this epoxy already, it's unbelievable. It's beautiful and I haven't even touched it. So wait till I start really mixing. He's gonna get from this view. It almost looks like a blue light. If you guys remember blue lights when we were young, we were like the black lights, that's what I'm saying. The black lights when we thought we were cool. So um, anyway, so I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna start smoothing this out. So I'm just gonna push it to the edges, just a small bit. <clears throat> and then I just kind of push it back because I don't want it to run over just yet. If you guys have your own technique of pushing the epoxy, great. I don't really care, whatever you want, you guys want to do, but this works for me and I like it and it smooths it out even and it doesn't run over the edges right away. And so I don't want it to run over the edges just yet. I'm gonna push it to the edge and push it back. And as I go, I will go to the edges, but not just yet. I'm going to make sure it's all spread out even first. Oh, look at that cellophane. It's awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. When I say wow, 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 that means it's pretty fantastic <laughs> in my world. I'm just telling you guys, my family knows that. My husband knows that. My kids know that. If I say wow, 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 that means it is pretty awesome. All right, so we are just spreading this out. And still, I don't have any on the edges, as you guys see. It's not, you don't hear it dripping yet. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna start pushing it to the edges. Just a smidge. That cameraman's doing so good. I guess here's walking around on plastic because we got plastic on our floor. Sorry <laughs> to protect everything. We got concrete floors, but we do have epoxy on them. But I don't know where I am. But we got plastic now. All right. Do it to the edge. Do it to the edge. I'm just telling you, I don't know what it is about this epoxy and the cellophane paper. It is magical when it hits it. It is beautiful. Once again, I'm also sorry to say it took me so long to do this, guys. I'm so sorry. Everybody's been so patient. I know people are like, make a video. I'm so sorry. I have been really busy. We actually did a butcher block <clears throat> kitchen. Yes, we did. And it was beautiful. And Jody will probably put some pictures on that. But with our wedding venue, epoxy, and roofing, it's been a lot the last few weeks so Jody's been trying to catch up and she's finally done it so uh, we actually rearranged her epoxy studio a little bit with some different shelving and some of her samples in the back and then there's some miscellaneous stuff on these cabinets over here um, but this work table actually belonged to my uncle years and years ago so now Jody uses it and it's perfect height for her and Cause I'm a midget, so cool. <laughs> I don't know about midget, but I'm pretty short. I'm she's short. Well, I'm short. She's vertically challenged-ish. But I'm mighty. She's mighty, that's for sure. <laughs> don't let those pink gloves fool you. Boom. Not just clean. You know what? This is my therapy in life. I'm telling you guys, I love it. I never thought that it would take off like it is. It has been kind of crazy. But I absolutely love it. I've been doing weddings for 13 years. So that's what Eric and I have done. That, that is our expertise. But this. Is... We, we kind of found this on a whim because our venue, we basically had to, what would you call it? Not renovate, but renovate. Yeah, we did renovate. And... It was a 1928 building is what we <clears throat> renovated. It was a 
Actually, do, do we want to share what it was? Absolutely. Okay, so we actually renovated a funeral home. A funeral home from 1928. But you know what? It made sense. The chapel was there, right? Um, chapel was there. We knocked out the walls and where all the offices were. Made that the ballroom. And um, how we came up about a popsy, yep. right? It started yep. there was because we knocked out all the walls where 10 offices were. When we did that, we were like, what the heck are we going to do with these floors? They're concrete. And then uh, one of our past brides was suggested like, it. Suggested it, right? Um, there's a museum here in Kansas City called the Negro League, and they have black and red epoxy floors. And I was like, what are these floors? She's like, oh my gosh, my best friend owns a company that does it. And so we joined with him. We kind of worked with him, and he kind of taught us a little bit about it. Then we but, went to class for it. Well, what the, the big thing was, everybody loved the floors. And we were like, oh my gosh, we did so much other stuff in this building, but everybody loved those floors. And kind of light bulb went off and thought, man, we should maybe do this. And so we did. And so First time we went to class, we went to Vegas yes, for we did. a week. Yes, yes. We trained there. and that was, gorgeous. That, that was kind of a... Um, Oh, it was more of a, hey, here's how you do this. Watch how we do it. Do you remember the company? I do. Concrete Protector. Concrete Protector was our first class. And then we went. A to, year later. Yes. Then we went to Diamond Coat and in, uh, in, learned from them. In and Grand that, Junction, Colorado. That was in Colorado. So. Um, that was an awesome, awesome class. Very hands-on. Yeah. I'm going to get where awesome. we can see this in the light. But then. <clears throat> um. A friend or acquaintance kind of turned me on to Stone Coat, and um, she did awesome work too, and um, started doing this, and I've tried other epoxy, and this is best. I do like different ones for floor versus counters, I will tell you that, but Stone Coat is it for me. I mean, they, it is awesome. I love their product. Um, I absolutely, I've never had any problem with it. I know some people have their favorite on what they need, like to use. I've heard it, believe me, but no, but it works for me. So if you look across this, you can see the holographic, the, the glitter that's in there. Um, and we haven't even started. Look how pretty it is already. So right now I'm just basically torching it to get rid of all the bubbles that are in the epoxy so it can lay flat. Real simple. Don't be scared of torch. I was petrified of this torch when I first started. I didn't <laughs> want to click the mouse. I was like this. When I clicked it, it would click it. Ugh. But you, not you, anymore. You, you were making fun of me in class. In oh, yeah. Colorado because I went a little heavy on mine. And oh, yeah. I kind of crystallized this just a little bit. I don't so. know. What, that was texture. <laughs> I thought it looked cool. He was like, oh, my God. I ruined it. All right. So, first off, we're just going to start off with some color, guys. I'm going to paint. I'm going to spray paint a little bit of blue in there. Um, this is... Rustoleum. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what it is. It's midnight blue. And so we're just going to add a little bit of color into this. Like I said, you don't have to follow what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. And it make it be your masterpiece, truly. Um, you can do whatever you want. That's what I suggest. Add pink in there. I don't care what you add. Whatever you want. So we're just basically going to paint some blue across here to add a little bit. If you look up there, there was blue in there. And so we're going to add blue back in here. All right. So back it up there because I'm going to spray you. And it doesn't have to be precise. Do whatever you want. Truly. Jody's a graffiti artist in her past life. You didn't know. It's kind of gangster. Well. So here in Kansas City, there's Kansas City, Kansas. And there's Kansas City, Missouri. And Jody is from Kansas City, Kansas. Which the is dot? in I'm which, from the dot? Which is in Wyandotte County, Kansas. And so back in her day, it was like, Ugh, you're from Wyandotte. Now you're like from the dot. Oh, yeah, people think they're cool for the dot. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of funky. That's all right. <clears throat> Another so, so. Hang on a second. So, Jody's from the dot, and mm -hmm. so now um, it's kind of funny because people look at her and kind of like, oh, so you're from Kansas. Where? Johnson County? That's Overland Park. That's, that's the nice area. And not that it all isn't nice, but. And so. Oh, you're from Johnson County. She's like, no, I'm from the dot. <laughs> so that's kind of the that's kind of the thing in Kansas City. So yeah, that's all right. All right, all let right. me get behind you real so quick. So basically, just so I can see. what I've done, 
as you guys see, real simple. I have sprayed white, the midnight blue right here. Let me see. But it's only midnight blue, right? Real easy to spray a couple streaks. I went back with a little bit of turquoise, the metallic. Um, turquoise, I'm not for sure what it is. I have teal. Oh, sorry, that's what it is, teal. And then I just did the white um, satin on Rust-Oleum. Also just sprayed a couple streaks. This stuff is already moving by itself. You can see it. If you guys can look around, it's moving by itself. I haven't even sprayed alcohol on it yet. And it's already, the cells are already breaking up. So what I'm going to do now is just spray a little bit of alcohol and watch the magic. Ready, Abby? Check that out. See? Nothing's too, that will do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. But this is just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part that Jody loves is watching I this love stuff. It. It's so fun, right? Nothing, nothing is bad. I'm going to add a little bit of black in here. Just a little bit. Like I said, it might not turn out like it did the last one. Who cares? I don't care. I'm just showing you the adjust of it so you can do what you want. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of black. Just throw some detail in here. So this one, this one's a translucent green. But this is how I am all the time when I'm by myself. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'll be upstairs watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> this is making all kinds of weird noises down here. It's not weird. It's fun. All right. So, I'm going to spray a little bit more. I'm actually going to add this time. This is called Sea Mist. <clears throat> I'm going to spray Sea Mist got. across this. This is a Rust-Oleum Sea Mist. See it? See it? Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to spray right across a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab my Uh-oh, she's getting creative. So what she's doing, guys, is we've got plastic underneath that's taped down. And so she always, always adjusts her nozzle, gets it flowing before she actually works over the piece yeah, because don't spray on your piece truly you need to make sure that you spray first to make sure everything's flowing right and she Honest. also oh sorry she also shakes her bottle to get all the glitter and all the product in the alcohol isopropyl alcohol and again make sure 91 percent can't do anything less than 91 percent so what we're going to do we're going to let this set for a minute because if i was to torch this right now it would catch on fire and it does but you'll just blow right back out i did that too in class yes yes he did a little bit more blue i believe see the blue has faded a little bit but i'm gonna add a bit more So guys, just so you know, this is what we use as far as alcohol. Um, and we go to Sam's, I think is where we got this last time, didn't we? Uh, I think we bought them out. Yeah, we bought them. Yeah, we bought them. <laughs> cases. So when all you people had no 91% alcohol, uh, we had cases. Of it was here diary. in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> we just had it. You know, people were using everything else. But you can use isopropyl. You can use whatever. Truly. Just got to be 91%. So I'm going to torch this a little bit. You might see a little flame pop up. A little bit blown out if it happens, believe me. Because there's a lot of alcohol in this. Basically, I'm just torching this to the alcohol. See that? You see that? Just blow it out. Ain't no big deal. Just it's, blow it out. Don't let it keep burning. It's, yeah, no. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I let it keep burning and it textured itself. Until it got rock hard and then it was pretty funny. I actually liked it. I thought it was kind of cool. He was hard on himself. Like I said, don't be hard on yourself. 
You know what? Isn't that beautiful? You know what? Like I said, who would have thought that piece that I did before you guys would have loved it so much? But it was crazy. Everybody loved it. So some of the biggest mistakes are the best. All right. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this real quick. I'm going to spray white completely over this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Eric's like, what is it? There you go. It's a satin white. So, all right. Spray it over the whole thing. Oh my God, what is she doing? I'm just spraying over the whole thing. I don't like it. No, not really. <laughs> no. I'll show you what I'm doing in just a minute. Oh my God, where did it go? It's coming right back, I promise. All right, there we go. And we're going to set this right over here. Try to keep it neat and tidy because it drives my husband crazy if I'm not. I'm just telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Just so people can see. It's true. Tell me. Okay, now what do you got there? All right, this is uh, alcohol with a black in okay. it. Metallic black. All right. So basically, I'm just gonna throw, it, put it in my hand, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it onto here. Why am I not spraying it? Because you can get bigger drips from your hand. So you get bigger drips than from the bottle. So if you look underneath it, if you can watch one of those cells open up, it's pretty incredible. Are you getting it? Whoa, watch this. Watch. Watch close up. Mm, 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 mm. See that underneath? Boom. Beautiful. It's wet. I do this around. I think I'm going to do so, too. So well, it pops like this. So. Something about that translucent cellophane. Look at it. So switch me sides and I'll be able to look into the light. There you go. Oh, yeah. It's oh, incredible. yeah. That's, yep. It is incredible, <clears throat> you guys. If you don't want to do what I'm doing, you don't have to. But I do this and then I'm going to go back with another color and you guys will see it. So that is black, metallic black mm -hmm. in the alcohol. You can kind of see it heavy right there. As it's doing its thing. So right when you drop it on that white is where you can really see it black. Right here? Yep, so see how there's black? Yeah, and, and then, then it, just it fades dissipates. In. Right, the alcohol just dissipates. Yep, so you'll you can see, see that black right there. And this is a lot of alcohol. It is strong. You get a little bit of <laughs> wow. By the time I get done, I'm like, wow, wow. She should wear a respirator because she yeah, gets a headache. Yeah, she should, but you know. You can't hear me. I sound like Darth Vader. I don't want that. So. <laughs> yeah, not on video. Nah, not on video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Here we go. We can see the black So we're right breaking there. it up, though. There you go. See the black. Yep. All right. Hang on, guys. And then I'm going to do something else. Hang on. So it's looking very three-dimensional at this point. It is beautiful. So you can see how the white rides on top, actually casting shadow, if you look at that. So some people would leave it just like this. <clears throat> they wouldn't do anything else because they love the effects. Look right down in here. Look how beautiful the blue is underneath. It is unbelievable. And I know the camera doesn't do it justice. The pictures don't do it justice. It never does, right? We always look fatter in pictures. Why, why doesn't the camera do us justice? It just, just doesn't do us justice, right? All right, so. All right, so we got the white on there. Everybody like it? Okay. All right. Holy cannoli, what's she doing? Black on her hand. Well, I'm about to show you. So rest only in black, right? Flat. Boom. See it? I'm spraying it over it. I don't like it. Someone spray black. I like black. Black's my favorite color. Isn't that every woman? Yeah. Black's a favorite color and then it makes you look skinny. Gold and diamonds. I don't know what's wrong with them, but... Yeah, Jody's definitely a bling woman. They're ill. I don't know. All right. I need mean, a blingy and epoxy, I swear. All right. So that's a black in there? So I'm instead of she poxy, maybe it should be bling poxy. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a little bit of regular alcohol. 
Nothing makes sense just to get the radar across. Look at that blue. I'm gonna come behind you real quick again and see. Sorry guys, my feet keep sticking to the plastic. Can you see that blue through there? Oh yeah. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I really enjoy doing that, so that's why I'm so sorry it took me so long to do this. I, I swear, I've just been busy. Busy, working. Switch places, but I don't know. Trying to show when you spray it in your hand. There you go. So this is what she's doing a little underneath. Now she's not sprayed directly on it. She'll change it up all the time, guys. It's never... Who says it's got to be a certain way? It's your masterpiece. Ain't nobody can tell you what to do. You do what you want. Those turn out beautiful. All right, so now I'm going to do a twist. I'm actually, give me one second. She's looking. Mm. So she's looking. So I'm, I did this shelving and now she can see what color she has, how much of it she has, when she needs to go get more. Um, what are we ready to do? <clears throat> Add a little bit of silver metallic. All right, here we go. Has always said to me when I do certain things like this, he's always like, Man, I love it when there's a flat color on top of a, a shiny color. And if you do a metallic over this, it will actually stand off of it, it separates the chemical reaction to it, makes it sit flat on top. And so, Eric likes that. So, let me do my black real quick. So, I'll kind of show you when she's doing that what I'm talking about. This piece that she has up here. If you can see it in the light, that's copper. There's yeah. copper. There's, so the black is flat black. And you got the copper. So I'm going to use this very far reflection of the light right here. And as I move, you can see the effect of kind of a flat versus, or a matte versus shiny. So, yep. it's kind of cool. And then this is the one that we're kind of duplicating. Now, again, she turned it so it ran. But that... I turned it because I wanted... I actually did that on purpose. So, it looked like, like the ocean spewing up. Um, and it really turned out really cool. I had somebody wanted to buy it. And so, I was like, um, I turned it up. I changed it. So, I don't even know if yeah. anyone would be interested in buying it at this point. But, um, hang on one second. Let me grab my silver metallic... And while she's, while she's going over there, these are just some of the other samples that she's done for clients and turned them into countertops, tabletops, um, different things. I will just say this is my favorite right oh, here. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorites. It's incredible. That, That's see where the copper sits on top. See where the copper sits on top? It's just something about the metallics that sit on top. It's beautiful. And I just did a flood coat over it and made it smooth. But, man, it's beautiful. That's my favorite sample that she did. And when she turned that into a countertop, it was the, the customer or the client was like, wow, this is... Um, and Jody will never say it, but the clients are typically like, wow, this is way more than I expected or so much more pretty than the sample. This is another one. That was actually for our CPA. Um, oh, that, yeah, that's a turquoise thing yep. that everybody likes. They wanted more of a turquoise beachy theme. Um, this is another one that I kind of like. It's kind of got a texture in it, too. Um, purple. That was one. It was for a basement. Um, this one. Oh, my gosh. Go through all my samples, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Jody will not ever brag on herself, which is probably good, but I will. But that's my favorite. Which one? All right, we're back. Which one's your favorite? The one that sets up there like that. Really? Well, yeah. other than the 
one. Yeah, the one and a copper one. So right now I'm spraying one. It's got silver metallic in it. So it will have a little bit of glitter in it. So right now I'm just breaking up that the metallic silver a little bit. And I might do a little bit of black over it again, real quick. Because sometimes that metallic silver, or the metallic gold or whatever, doesn't break up like everything else. It's kind of weird. But it's got a different chemical in it, I'm just telling you. It's unpredictable. All right, guys, we're gonna do, what do you think? One more black, one more coat of black? I think so. And then we'll be done. Hold up. I hit that. Did you see me do that? <laughs> All right. Black again. Ready? So this effect is very three-dimensional when it's all done, yep. which typically looks a lot more realistic to natural stone, mica, um, granite, um, and again, I mean, these are typically more wild, vibrant colors. Um, there's some crazy people out there that want these, yep, one I'm of, telling you. One of the five bids that Jody did last week, she had five of them. Um, and this couple, he is from the UK. Oh, she is from can't here. can't wait to do this counter, you guys. And I am telling you, this house is... Pretty incredible. It, it's like an artist... Dream yeah. or something. Even down to the little knobs that she painted on the oh, yeah. um, cabinet doors so, and drawers yeah, the and... kitchen is orange like sherbet orange i love it their floor is a spanish tile with blue and orange in it but and gold and gold and ivory and so the that's counters, what they want their counters to be they want a dirty pour with orange they said i can use copper if i want so copper blue remember there's blue in their house yep. blue on their lights yep. um so i'm gonna do blue copper and orange orange um, like they're they are all about wild crazy like this this would be obviously some different colors but just as wild as what Jody's doing and I right now. I'll probably do a sample of that dirty pour yep. so you guys can see it. I'll probably put it posted. Truly. All right. So this is what you guys were waiting for. I want Eric to come over here on this side in just a minute. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep clearing my throat. That's okay. One of Jody's favorite songs from back in the day. Mm -hmm. Next time we'll have some background music. Maybe a little bit of jazz. No, just kidding. A little bit of Kenny G or something. No. This plan. Okay, guys. We're about done. I'll let that set for a second, and then I'm going to torch it. I might move some of this just a little bit, but the 3D effects in this stuff is crazy. It is absolutely beautiful. What do you think, Eric? Anything else I should add? You're the boss. Oh, I don't know about that. This older. It's not the boss, so. Okay. All right, guys. That's what you wanted to see. You saw how I did it. Like I said, do what you want. You don't have to follow my lead. Do what you guys want. Add what you want. Spread the alcohol the way you want. I don't know. It, it doesn't matter. It's not wrong. You can never be wrong unless you're doing it for a, playing, a paying client and they want something certain. Who cares? Just do it because it's fun. It is therapeutic. You see how she's hammering her hand? That's, she gets mad at me. She just comes out here and just hammers alcohol. <laughs> As a pro for alcohol, is slam. I get high with I said, I said, alcohol. Hyper so sofa job, fall. If you can. Get it over here and just look at some of these where I've dropped the dots. So when you get done, I'm going to actually take your place and go over it. And you can, again, talk and yes. just go through it. I want you to get your fight because I hate I being in your way. I might add a little bit of gold. Oh, here we go. I, I, I want some more <laughs> glitter. I just want glitter. So let me grab my gold real quick. Hang on. So I'll go over here. But you can see the kind of the white and teal base. And then as the light hits it, you can see the paper under there. Then we go back to the white. So what do you got here? This is blue. 
So I'm putting, just putting a little bit of blue in, um, just the metallic blue that's in there mm -hmm. with the alcohol. Just like, spraying blue. Just a little bit. I just want to add a little bit of blue back in, and then I'm gonna do a little gold. Oh. Add some more glitter. I did not do this on the last one, but I feel like it is needed. It is a little corner too. I turned up. Oh, <laughs> I can see what it glitter. We needed. All right, so here it is. Boom! Watch. I'm gonna drop right there. Ready? Can you hear that? Uh -huh. That's magic. That's liquid gold. <laughs> and it'll just blend right in like a gem. There you go. Look at that rhyme, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we have too much fun, truly. I wish it was like this 24-7. Jeez, maybe we need to do this more often. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, maybe, I don't know. That's awesome. So guys, you can see now the gold looks like it's sitting on top of the black. And so again, once this does its movement and does some things chemically, um, it'll look a little bit different when it dries. Mm -hmm. But again, you guys heard Jody say, no, oh, it's missing something. Let me try this. Let me try that. Boom. She hit that gold and she knew that was it. Sometimes your biggest mistakes are your masterpieces. I'm just telling you. I would say that probably at least 50% of the samples that she's done over the last year or two, and I'm not talking samples for clients, I'm talking about samples that she's played with. We've got a box. A you can actually see there's a box over there behind this paint. She'll come down here if she's, you know, done with paperwork for our business or, you know, I'll watch TV. She'll come down here and next thing I know, I hear a torch or <laughs> spray, spray paint. And, you know, she's down here practicing and this is what she's doing. She's coming down here. And she's perfecting her art. And it'll never be perfect, but she's constantly, constantly practicing and learning. And that's where she, she Poxy kind of was born is, you know, we started on our own project. And then... And it just turned into a girl doing a poxy. So we called yeah. it She-Poxy. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Eric? <clears throat> I think that gold was it. What do you think? You can literally see it. Glistening. You see it? You can see it moving. You see it out of the turquoise? All right, I'm gonna torch this a little bit. And the one thing about your poor glove, look at my poor glove. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Pink with gold glitter gloves. All right. So you're gonna watch. And if you want that translucent to, to show a little bit more, if you want that translucent to show a little bit more, move the epoxy. Move the paint on top. Move it. Move it with the, the torch. It's no big deal. Move it. Watch your arm. You're going to want to burn your arm hairs. <laughs> Be worth it. So see, you can see, guys, right here, this green, which it's actually yellow and blue make green. Gold is yellow. Blue is underneath, so now you're starting to see a green come out. So, so if you, like, like I said, don't all, like it, hit this torch and you can see it. Look, look right there. Move it. Boom. See it? Watch it. That's where it was heavy on the torch. Here we go. So you guys can see how this is kind of breaking apart. So now you can look at the light and see it. So guys, you can see kind of that silver sitting on top there. Yep. So when we're done, we'll also post pictures so everybody can see kind of the final product tomorrow when it's all done its movement and everything else. So. I didn't know the last one because it, it blew up so fast I didn't know 
what to do, and then I, I left it where it would drain down look like the ocean. And so I never did another pour on it. So. So stay tuned. This is what you wanted. So you kind of got to see, like I said, play with it, do it. It's fun. Sell the paper. Do whatever color. Like I have all kinds of colors I'm doing. So here's how it's starting to run like the other one did. Yep. So it's starting to run. So what I'm going to do is pick this side up a little bit so it doesn't run. Because we don't want to ruin this design. So anyway, once again, Jody from Sheepoxy from Kansas City. This is the sample you guys have all been wanting. It is the cellophane paper blue over the turquoise, Rust-Oleum turquoise teal with the white. We started out with the bear. Remember that? We did the adhesive. We did the glitter and the, is it Hocus Pocus? Is that what it is? Glitter um, in the epoxy itself. And um, then we poured it. And you guys can see all the, the whole thing all the way to the end. So, um, if you guys need anything, please email me, message me on she-poxy.com. Anything I can help you guys with, please get a hold of me um, on Facebook. Um, I've got a small Instagram. I'm getting ready to start a YouTube channel. Anything I can help you guys with, I don't mind. It, sometimes it just takes me a little bit longer because I'm really busy, so I apologize. So, go over one more time. Just point to what you're talking about when you're talking about the... Um, the prime coat, the bear, and then yep. you can point out some of your colors. So we did because they're all messed yeah, up. Yeah, so we did bear white um, as the prime coat when we started out just with our sample board, and then we did the um, turquoise. We sprayed the turquoise through here and right through here and over here a little bit. Oh, I just touched it. <laughs> That's all right. It'll, It'll move. Um, anyway, then I sprayed the white on the edges of the turquoise and got that done. And then once that dried, we had a hair hair blow, uh, hair hair dryer. Can't even talk today. <laughs> we dried it a little bit because the white was taking forever to do it and uh, to dry. So anyway, after that, then we you saw we started the video. I poured the epoxy with the silver glitter and the hocus pocus in it, and spread that out uh, with our trowel. You guys saw that. I sprayed painted the blue, the midnight blue, and then we did a little bit of black, white. Kind of mix it in a little bit of turquoise and then kind of did the magic as you guys can see it running through we did black first then we sprayed white over it sprayed alcohol which we did three four different alcohols tonight which was different than you did on that last one correct i did not do gold on that that's the only one i didn't do so that one there that everybody saw on what facebook it was on stone coat group on the stone coat group so stone yes. that the stone coat group on facebook you had how many? Like oh, 600, 780 yeah. something likes. And, and then so, a bunch of people were like, how do you do it? How do you do it? Yeah, so anyways, so that, yeah. that's the one that was on that Facebook page. The difference tonight is obviously it's going to it's gonna be a different pattern, but the gold is what's different. So Yeah, but it, it, <clears throat> truly, it's not that much different. You no. just added a little bit more bling. Um, but it pretty much is about that. And um, this is how it turned out. And like I said, the iridescent paper underneath the cellophane is magical i'm so glad iliana posted that and gave me oh i'm sorry eric's trying to show you um gave me the ideas and kind of helped me walk through because i was having some issues on how to lay it right so anything that i can help you with reach out to her even she's awesome to talk to um she's she does some magical work i love her work too um so anything we can help you guys with let me know once again jody from kansas city from She Poxy, She Dash Poxy member, just a girl doing epoxy. You guys have a great night. Thanks.